Welcome to Motor Car Parts of America's Technical Installation Series. The purpose of this video is to address a no start or no charge condition caused by a corroded battery cable. This issue applies to various Toyota vehicles from late 1997 through 2001 with four cylinder and V6 engines. Over time, this will affect your alternator and cause it to fail, and you'll need to replace it with a new one. If the alternator has failed and there is evidence of corrosion on the negative battery cable under the battery tray, you will need to replace the negative cable harness. For purposes of this video, we will be removing and replacing the alternator on a 2000 Toyota Camry. On these model vehicles, it's critical that the battery is fully charged and properly tested. A discharged or defective battery will cause the replacement alternator to fail prematurely. Always wear protective safety clothing and goggles to avoid injury. Also, perform a voltage drop test to rule out other potential problems. Before we begin, make sure the battery is disconnected. Always disconnect the negative battery cable first. A memory saver can be used to keep the radio and other electrical component settings unchanged. Once the battery has been disconnected, we can begin. Step 1. Disconnect the negative battery cable from the battery and set it aside, away from the battery. Step 2. To gain access to the B-positive terminal on the alternator, first remove the plastic cover on top of the alternator. Step 3. Remove the protective cover on the 3-pin voltage regulator connector. Push the tab and pull on the connector to remove it from the alternator. Step 4. Using a 12 mm socket and ratchet, loosen the tensioner bolt to release the tension on the serpentine belt. Step 5. Remove the tensioner bolt with a 12 mm socket using a long extension with a ratchet. Step 6. Push down on the alternator and remove the old serpentine belt. Step 7. Next, remove the 14 mm bolt with a ratchet and socket. Step 8. To remove the alternator from the mounting bracket, you'll need to rock it back and forth. Step 9. Remove the old belt by working it around the pulleys between the AC compressor and the frame. Step 10. Install the new belt in between the frame and the AC compressor pulley. Step 11. Reinstall the alternator by aligning it with the mounting bracket. Step 12. Insert the bolt through the mounting tab and then tighten it with a 14 mm socket. Step 13. Install the second bolt into the adjuster using a 12 mm wrench. Step 14. Install the new serpentine belt onto the alternator pulley. Step 15. Use a 12 mm socket on the adjusting bolt to tighten the belt on the alternator's pulley. Step 16. Check the tension on the belt and tighten it until it can only be twisted about halfway. Step 17. Lastly, we need to tighten the top bolt with a 14 mm socket and ratchet. Step 18. Reinstall the B positive cable to the alternator terminal and secure it with a nut using a 10 mm socket. Step 19. Reinstall the protective cover on the B positive terminal. It will snap into place. Step 20. Reinstall the three pin connector and its cover. Make sure it locks in securely. Step 21. Finally, reinstall the negative cable onto the negative post of the battery. Remember, if you have a no start or no charge condition caused by a corroded battery cable on a Toyota vehicle from late 1997 through 2001 with four cylinder and V6 engines, you will need to replace the negative cable harness as well as the alternator. Failure to replace the negative cable harness will result in premature failure of the new replacement alternator. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have questions, contact our Technical Support Center to talk to one of our ASE certified technicians. Our technicians are available seven days a week. In the United States, call 800-228-9672 and in Mexico, 1-800-227-5278.
Call 1-800-767-0210. Furthermore, if you have issues that may lead to returning a part, please call our Call Before You Return hotline at 888-933-9065, and our technicians will help troubleshoot the issues you may be having. Powered by MPA.